So tonight's homework is from 1.1.1, and we're going to focus on 1.6. So what they're asking is they have two function machines, this one and this one. And they want to know, how am I going to make it so that the final output is 5? So that means I need to be the out to be 5. So we are going to figure that it, um, out. You also need to see that the input is 6. So I have to input 6, put it in there, and see if it comes out to be 5. Or is it the other way around? Do I input 6 here, it comes out, and then I get a negative 5, or 5, okay? So I'm going to switch over, and let's actually do the problems. Let me first write it on here so that I have it. Okay, so I'm going to go to my here, and we're going to see now. So... We said my initial input was six. So that's my initial input. So I guess I should make it like this. Let me turn this over. So I'll make this my six and I'll input this into my machine. So I take the six and I input that. So now I'm gonna do square root six minus five. Six minus five is one. The square root of one is one. Now I'm gonna take that and input that into my new machine. So I'm gonna take this one now, and I'm gonna input it there into the other machine. So remember, my idea is I have to um, input six, and I have to get five coming out. So then I get one, so I'm gonna go one squared minus six. One squared means one times one, which is one, and one minus six, a positive one, two, three, four, five, six, but five. That's negative 5. Huh. Input 6, my output is negative 5, but they wanted it to be positive 5, so that's not the right order. So instead of starting with this one now, I'm going to start with this machine. So I'm going to input 6. I'm going to start again. So I'm going to go 6 squared minus 6. 6 squared means 6 times 6, which is 36. 36 minus 6 is 30. Now I'm going to take that 30, and I'm going to put it into the other machine. So now I'm going to take this 30, and I'm going to put it into this machine. So I get the square root of 30 minus 5 is the square root of 25, which is 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. Cool, that worked. So this is the answer. The answer is first, it's x squared minus 6, and then second, it's the square root of x minus 5. Okay, let me pause it. The next question on your homework is 1.9, and we're going to go through all these problems. So let me go to the screen and start. Okay, let me start with letter A. Make sure you write down the problem and show your work. Okay, this is 42 negatives. That's kind of ridiculous to write, dot, dot, dot. And this is 17 negatives, which means all of those are negative. Since they're all negative, I'm going to add them. So 42 plus 17. 2 plus 7 is 9. 4 plus 1 is 5. And they are all negative. Let's go to letter B. When I have a negative and a negative, it turns into a positive. So this is all positive, And this is all positive. So if I add all of those positives together, I get positive 17. But positive is ugly. So just 17. This one. This time they are touching. Touching means multiply. So this really means 8 times 9. So if I'm bad at multiplying, I can go um, 9 eighths. 8, 8, 8, 8. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I can literally add them. And when I add them all up, I get 72. And when there's one negative, it's negative. Let's go to the next one. This one is divide. So it's the same kind of thing. Don't even look there, okay? But I'm going to go divide. So I'm going to add 7 each time. Add 7. Add 7. Add 7. Add 7. Add 7. Cool, I got the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A negative and a negative make a positive. But positive's ugly. It's just 6. Let's try the next one. Don't even look at the negatives. All of them are touching. Touching means multiply, so it means 2 times 3 times 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 
and 6 times 4 is 24. Now, we just saw in the previous problem that a negative times a negative is a positive, but then we still have one negative, boom, it's negative. Let's go to the next one. They are not touching, so I write out my negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 18. Negative 1, 2, add them all up. So I'm really going 18 plus 7, and that's 5, carry the 1, 25. So we go to the next one. This means negative 5 times negative 5. We learned that a negative times a negative is a positive, and then 5 times 5 is 25. The positive is ugly. We're done. Now look at this one and this one. They are different. Because in this case, only this is with the 5, okay? So that means we bring this down, and it's negative, and 5 times 5 is 25. So look at the difference between this one and this one. The whole thing is squared, so the whole thing is there. This one, it's only touching there. Square root of 49 means what times what equals 49, and that's 7. So my answer is 7. 1.9, done. The last problem is 1.10. So I want to show you something. Do you notice how it says homework help here? It says homework help here. If at any time you don't know what to do and Ms. Rifkin doesn't uh, give you a video, you press homework help. And look at this. It helps you and gives you a little hint. Okay? And then it can tell you what to do to make sure you're good to go. So I just want to show you that little bonus. So let's go to, we're going to go to 1.10 is the next question, and I'm just going to write down the problems real quick. Okay, so every single time they're telling us that x is 2, every single time, okay? So I wrote down these three problems, zoom it out, make it work. So this, so every single time x equals 2. So for this problem, plug in 2. For this problem, plug in 2, and for this problem, plug in 2. So I'm going to go 7 minus 3. It's touching parentheses. Parentheses. And then on this one, I don't really need parentheses because that's all that's there is 18 divided by 2. So each time I plugged in 2, 2, and 2. Now, be careful because actually on this one, you always have to deal with the multiplying first. So first you multiply, then you subtract, okay? So 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 minus 6 is 1. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. 18 divided by 2, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Boom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm good to go. That's your homework. Make sure you're good.